Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. You join me back here in uh, Rustboro City because we are heading into the Devon Corporation. Okay, and over here we will be able to revive the fossil we got last time in the desert of Route 111 or 110, I forget. Anyway, here in the bottom left corner, or the, the south the southwest, um, we have the guy who will re uh, revive the fossil. Now, like I said, I will be getting eggs for the rest of the fossils in the game because I, I can't actually get them if not. Okay, this is Lilip. Take good care of it. So the root fossil turns into Lilip, and again, the claw fossil turns into Anorith. Now, I'm going to be nicknaming this Lilip, of course. Since this will be the one that I evolve into Cradilly, I'm going to give it its Japanese uh, translation, which I believe is spelled correctly. Yureidoru? Yureidoru. Yeah, Yureidoru. Cool, there we go. And just keep in mind that you do have to have a spare slot on your party right now. Now there is something you can go get from uh, Mr. Stone here, but again, I'm saving that for a little bit later on, maybe a couple of episodes. It's crazy to think how far, uh, how much further we'll be in a couple of episodes time. Uh, but other than that, yeah, welcome back to Rustboro City. I'm gonna have to make my way back to, uh, to Morville City, so I will see you in Morville. Actually, that was a complete lie. I'm still here in, um, in Rustboro City because we only have to go to Petalburg for the next gym. If you go to, uh, or if yeah, if you go to Morville City, you can get to Rustboro from, or you can get to Petalburg from there. But you know we're in Petalburg, so we may as well just, or we're in Rustboro. Sorry, so we may as well just jump down through the woods. And hey presto, oh, uh, wild grass. <laughs> there we go. Hey presto, we're back in Petalburg City. How about that? And we are now able to take on the gym here. It's literally the only reason why we came back to Petalburg City. Hello. Yo, how's it going to be, uh, champ to beat Dazza? The doors in this gym open when you beat the awaiting trainers. Whoops, the doors in the room are already open, so don't attack me. The trainers of Petalburg Gym use all kinds of items. The door at the left leads to the speed room. The door at the right leads to the accuracy room. The room's name will be on the door, so choose carefully. Once you've chosen the door, hey, well, go for it. So um, there's actually quite a few trainers in here to fight. Other than that, there's like no puzzle to the gym. So literally all you do is you go through and then you battle this trainer and then the doors open up. Uh, so we'll battle the trainer first. Being able to take uh, to attack with one opponent, that confers a great advantage in battle, won't you agree? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the strategy of this gym and how they play. Uh, they focus on normal type Pokemon and what they like to do is use the uh, the X items to increase stats. Or stat, or to inhibit, sta or inhibit, to uh, bring about stack changes uh, right at the beginning of the battle. So there you go. It's going to use an X speed because this is the speed room. Okay, and then we can just double kick through it. Hopefully, triple kick maybe. <laughs> I know. So yeah, that's the idea of their gym. They're quite high level, and I am using Zinger to try and level him up. Um, obviously, Elastigirl will do pretty well here as well since she's got a fighting type move. Hey ho, look at that, we go through with the other double kick, and yeah, it's pretty easy gym, the gym leader is not easy at all, uh, so bring your strongest Pokemon, really, it's going to be very tough. Okay, and literally that is it. So then what happens is two more doors open up. Uh, so uh, at the left is the reduction room, the right door leads to the defense room. So the layout of this gym is set so there's one main room at the front, <coughs> excuse me, one main room at the front, then there are two rooms in front or behind that, then behind that are three rooms, um, so uh, the right side door to this room leads to the same as the left side door on this room, if that makes sense, and then behind that is uh, two more rooms, and then the gym leader at the back, so kind of like a diamond shape. So what I'm going to be doing is speeding through and going through these all uh, individually, because I do want to level up some Pokemon here. So uh, enjoy the time lapse, I guess. Okay, this was unexpected, but Elastigirl has uh, made it here to level 40, 
This is the whole reason why I wanted her to be level 40, because she can learn Spore. The user scatters bursts of spores that induce sleep. This is the only guaranteed to hit 100% is gonna send the opponent to sleep move, which makes catching Pokemon so, so easy. And now that her Everstone has been removed, I can happily let her evolve. And oh boy, I've been waiting for this for a long time because there's something else about this uh, Shroomish which, uh, which I did. But anyway, Shroomish, once it hits level, I think something low, turns into a Breloom. And this is why I called her Elastigirl because her arms are stretchy. Uh, and Breloom is a grass fighting type Pokemon, a really cool Pokemon, one of my favorites of all time. The next room is the strength room. Can you withstand the brute force? And what's great about Breloom is it's such a great physical attacker, but also as a Shroomish, its hidden ability turns into Technician. Powers up the Pokemon's weaker moves. Anything, any move that is base 60 or lower gets a 50% increase in attack power, including False Swipe. And that turns it to 60% or 60 damage. Um, and yeah, I will be changing the moves as well. I think there's a different uh, fighting type move that I want uh, Elastigirl to learn. But yeah, that has come at a very good time for fighting type Pokemon to join our team as we uh, as we battle through the normal gym. Anyway, I'm going to continue with the time lapse now. Okay, here we have it. I actually wasn't expecting to go straight into the gym battle. I kind of wanted to heal, but here we have Norman, our father, the fifth gym leader in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Hmm, so you did get four gym badges. Then, as promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Oh, he is going to let me... Okay, be right back, Dad. Okay, here we go. It is time to fight. I was considering going back and doing something else, but uh, I'll save that for next time. Dazza. It makes me happy that I can really describe. Being able to have a real battle with my own son like this, but a battle is a battle. I will do everything within my power as a gym leader to win. You'd better give it your best shot too, Dazza. Ah, yep, yeah, here we go. We are finally facing our own father and the fifth gym leader. Gym leader of Petalburg City. Norman. Yes, so not leader dad, leader Norman. And he will start us off with a slacking. It's level 28 with the moves Encore, Retaliate, Yawn, and Faint Attack. Remember, its ability is Truant, meaning it can only attack every other turn. But this guy's stats is beyond legendary. Look at this. It's insane. This is why it's got such, such a, 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 a hindering ability to it because it's able to just, it's ridiculous. It hits so hard. I mean, just look at how hard that hit Kumbusk in there. Hey, oh, yeah, a critical hit. Are we gonna take it out? Oh, it's so close. Do, I think I'm gonna risk it uh, healing. I'm pretty sure that Norman, no, I don't think he can heal. A quick attack would be great here, but I don't think I'm gonna manage to pull it off. So I'm gonna switch to Stampy and hope that I can survive whatever he throws at me. Okay, let's see. Throws weak, get him Stampy. And he's gonna go for a Hyper Potion. I was completely wrong. Okay, <laughs> I should have stayed there with um with Com uh, Combuskin. But let's go for an Earth Power. Okay. Oh, okay, so here's the strategy Norman likes to use here. With his first slacking, he does like to use Yawn, um, which will send your Pokemon to sleep the next turn unless you switch out. So you can quite easily switch out and uh, not get harmed because of its ability Truant, but just be careful because it is a waste of a turn and he is going to be able to attack again next time. Okay, so I'm going to use this turn to heal myself up. Uh, ooh, Soda Pop, let's heal 60 hit points, so let's go for it. Hopefully that means I will be able to survive a Retaliate. I mean, you saw that this slacking, this thing which is apparently meant to be super slow and lazy, is quicker than my Combuskin, which is pretty insane because Combuskin isn't exactly a slow Pokemon. Okay, we've got at least one turn here which we can use to attack. 
Okay, and he shouldn't use another hyper, uh, hyper potion, so I'm gonna risk it and use another soda pop when he attacks. So he should, he should pro probably use retaliate again or faint attack. Although faint attack won't be that great, yeah. So he goes for another retaliate, which is fine. As long as we can su survive it, it means that we'll be able to get a free turn to use to kick him down. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, slacking. Ridiculous Pokemon. Incredibly hard to use. But I mean, if you can use squ skill swap or something to put it onto a garbage Pokemon, then this thing can just wreck everything. It's so overpowered. I'm just so glad we managed to take it out. Okay, wants to learn bulk up. This was actually a move I was considering teaching it temporarily for this gym. You may have saw it during the um, during the time lapse. Basically, I, I kind of wanted to send it in, um, or I, I kind of wanted to use it um, to just do some extra fighting type damage, but it doesn't matter. Here we have Vigoroth, the pre-evolution, believe it or not, of slacking. Still a force to be reckoned with. I mean, just look at that. It's absolutely insane. Um, it's from what I understand a bit slower well it's, its stats aren't as good as slacking but it doesn't have the truant ability it is still an incredibly strong Pokemon and you need to be careful fighting it the only reason why I haven't revived Zynga is because obviously I'm going to be sending out my other fighting type to deal with uh, the last Pokemon here okay so Vigoroth's gonna use Encore oh I should probably say Vigoroth level 28 with the moves uh, retaliate and Encore as you've seen but also fury swipes and faint attack Again, a force not to be reckoned with. It can harm you so much. Okay, lots of XP here, which is fantastic. Leveling up our team. And his final Pokemon is another slacking. I am going to send Elastigirl in for this one. I don't think she's going to do too great, but let's see. We are 10 levels above it, though. So this slacking has the moves, again, retaliate, but this time with faint attack, chip away, and swagger. Uh, fingers crossed I will be able to take it down quite easily. Uh, it's still got Truant, but it doesn't have Yawn. There we go. <laughs> Much easier. Oh, wow. And we have defeated Norman. Stampy Crew's level 31 as well. Stampy's actually pretty close to evolving. Take down. It's a pretty good move. Don't think I want to uh, get it, though. Whew. Okay. Royal Groot's level 26. Yeah, these Pokemon have such high experience gains. Impossible. <laughs> Just defeat that dad, you know, he's a gym leader, but whatever. I can't believe it. I lost to Dazza. <sighs> You've come this far. That's how f uh, that's how it is then. I will give you this. And he will give us the balance badge? Yeah, the balance badge. Uh-huh. I received the balance badge from his dad. Having that badge will ensure that Pokemon up to level 60 will obey you, even if you receive them in trades. Pokemon that know the HM move Surf will also be able to travel over water now. And this is my gift to you, Dazza. I'm sure you'll be able to use it well. Who gives us the uh, TM67 Retaliate, obviously his signature move. Retaliate will allow you to take revenge for a fallen team member. Its power will be doubled if you have a Pokemon use it in the very next move right after an ally faint. That's why Vigoroth did so much damage to uh, Combusken. I hope you and your Pokemon will be diligent enough to use it wisely. <sighs> as the gym leader, I can't express how frustrated I am. But, as a father, it makes me both happy and a little sad. It's odd. Come on, Dazza. I like how he changes to a smile there. I'll see you on your way. Let's get out of here. Alright, Scooby-Doo. Let's get out of here! Blink. Ah, Dazza, Mr. Norman. That's Wally. I haven't seen the two of you in some time. What's a coincidence? I just came back to get my pa uh, to my parents' house to grab something I'd forgotten. You look like you've been working hard, Wally. It's clear even without a battle. R really? You think so? <laughs> Thank you. That's so nice of you to stay. As you can see, Wally's health has been pro uh, thoroughly improved. It's all thanks to you and your father. You two helped Wally catch his first Pokemon that day. It's because of you that he is a partner of his own now. That partner is why he's grown so strong. That's my firm belief. So, I thank you. Blink. Yes, that's it. Sometimes words aren't enough. It would be. It would delight me if you'd take this. And yeah, he gives us the HMO3 Surf. How about that? Uh, if you have clear to use Surf outside of battle, you'll be able to cross seas with your Pokemon. Dazza, considering how much you and Wally have grown, you should be able to handle what lies beyond the sea on Route 118 now. There are far stronger Pokemon and trainers waiting for you on Hoenn's East Coast. Continue your journey and your adventures there. I know you'll do your best. 
Yes, sir. I will do my best to become as strong as Daz, sir. I guess I had better start out then. I'm off now, Dad. See you next time. I don't know why that was so broken. Um, go on, Dazza. Let's go together. Wally, I look forward to seeing you and your Pokemon grow stronger together. Dazza, we'll take, uh, well, take care of yourself out there. Don't forget to drop by Little Root to visit your mother from time to time. Okay, we're off. Be safe out there. Learn a lot. Where are they taking us? Where are we going? We went south. That's really bizarre. I don't know what it is, but... Hmm? Seeing my little boy all grown up and going off on his own? As a father, it makes me happy and a little sad. Ha 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 What a coincidence! I caught myself thinking the same thing. Ho oh, ho ho, is that so? But if only... If only my boy keeps growing strong and healthy like that, I wouldn't ask for anything else. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. So, here we are. Where are we? Oh, I know where we are. Mr. Norman told us to keep going beyond Route 118, didn't he? Let me check my area nav. Route 118 is one east is the one east of Morville City, huh? That's since we're both going here anyway, let's go to Morville together. I'm definitely planning on going to check out Route 118 like your dad said. So we have no choice in the matter here. We get transported back to Morville City. Phew! It's actually pretty far, isn't it? All the way here to Morville. So that must be Route 118 ahead. I wonder what kind of Pokemon I'll meet there. I can't wait to find out. I'll see you later, Dazza. I'm going straight to Route 118. Let's definitely have a battle next time we meet. It's a promise, okay? And you can't break a promise. Aha, uh -huh, so we're going to be rematching Wally, but for now, that is going to do it for today, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Might be a bit of a long one. I apologize for that. Um, but join me next time when we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, cleanup and also going to head east on Route 118 to uh, find some new Pokemon and the much stronger trainers in the Hoenn region. Okay, thank you all very much for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>